Hello and welcome once again. Today I'm going to show you a really teeny tiny quilted bunny. It's just going to be 4 centimeters long. Um, I found these really cute boxes just by chance in a supermarket and I bought them and I really wanted to fill them with something really cute. So I've measured it and it's going to fit a 4 centimeter bunny. So I've used a skewer and rolled some wool on top of it. Now I'm going to give it shape. It looks like an amoeba right now, so <laughs> I just have to keep felting it. And the front will be the mouth. And you have to give the shape to the body. And I'm adding more wool just to make it a bit rounder. So it's going to be a teeny tiny one. It doesn't take much time, and it's really fun to do. You just have to have patience with it because you have to really felt it down to make it neater and smaller things are a bit difficult to handle. So I'm just felting it down but it's, it will really make a precious gift and I enjoy doing it so I made three of them. So these are going to be the thighs. I'm just folding some wool over and felting it. And I'm going to attach it as the thighs of the rabbit. You just have to see the size of it and fold some wool over. Just felt it down, and one end will remain a bit fluffy because we have to attach the feet to it. I'm just shaping the thighs as I go along and uh, I'll give you a round shape. I'm taking little teeny tiny strands of wool and I'm going to make really small cheeks and you can just see how big you want them. To just fold them down a bit. And I'm going to attach them to the sides of the face. So just like we do the bigger bunny, this is going to be really small. So it's going to take some time. And after the cheeks are done, I've got one on top of the head. And I've melted it down from where the nose starts. So it goes around the head and you can the shape and then you will see where the eyes will go. I'm attaching more wool to the whole body so it's a bit more rounded and as you go to the bottom you can just uh, shape the little teeny tiny tail as well. You can see the thighs are made and now we have to attach the limbs in the I'll fold them the so for the limbs I'm using the skewer again because it's easier to make little teeny tiny things with it and this is a miniature so it's easier this way just roll to a strand of wool and we'll get a round shape and then you can just felt it down and these will be the hands And you can shape them with the fine needle and you'll get the limbs made this way. So I've just shaped them and uh, you can use your hand to roll them in to give them a bit of a finish. Hands are really useful in needle felting and there's a lot you can do uh, with your hands. You can just shape, squeeze the wool into shape and then just felt it down. So I'm attaching the little hands to it now.
now we have to make the feet so it's the same way as the hands are done I'm going to roll them on a spur and they're going to be a bit bigger than the hands so I'm just going to roll them out you can see how big I want them to be and then I'm going to fold them down to get them into shape As you can see, I'm rolling the tip of them a bit down so they have a rounded edge and when I attach them to the thighs, I'm going to just bend them over a bit and then stab them down so they're a bit rounded. The fluffy sides really help to get the limbs on and attaching different parts. So I've just left this fluffy part and just attaching them to the thighs. Now I'm going to make um, two ears and take a little pieces of wool and I'm folding it over to get two similar sizes and I'm going to shape the ears just roughly draw them with your needle on top of the wool and it's easier to get the shape right Once you get the size, you can just place it on top of the other part of the wool and make the other one. Just fold them down and stab them and you get your ears. getting them to be of the same size and make them into with the finest needle I've got and for this bunny I'm using a merino top that's of uh, eggshell I think no sorry it's ivory the shade is ivory and I've used that for the limbs and that is the uh, roving top but I've used it for the limbs and for the body I've used the Corydale slivers so that was just for the shape of the basic shape of the body and the rest of it I've used the roving top Now attaching the ears and you can see that there's a lot of fluff I'm just going to pull it off and just spread the rest of it so it doesn't look odd because um, we need really small ears so I'm just going to take the bit off As you can see, I'm spreading the rest of the fluff along the body, so it'll just become a little fatter, but the joining won't show. And I'm adding little uh, shreds of pink into the ears, just giving it some more details.
with the ear is done I'm taking a little shred of white wool and just folding it in a circle and I'm going to fold it down and these will become the closed eyelids and it's really fun doing the detail work and it's just going to be a small eye but if you put a circle it just gives it more detail and then it will show that the eyes are closed and you can see the eyelids Now I'm taking very little shreds of brown wool and I'm going to make a line that's uh, of the eyes. So it's a very small piece of wool and I've just twisted it in my fingers, between my fingers and I'm just putting it in and making a line. I'm just going to cut trim off the edges so I don't have to push a lot in and it's really delicate work so I can't avoid cutting them and giving shade to the nose and just a little shred of light brown wool Again, just like I did with the eyes, I'm taking a strand of wool and twisted it and I'm going to make the nose and the mouth. And this is done with the my size 42 needle. And it's going to be a bit fiddly but because it's really small, but we just have to really get into it. And enjoy the process. I've given different colored patches to them on the nose and the back and as you can see they're done just neatening it up and I'm going to make a little nest of guarded brown wool and just roughly felting it down in a round shape so it looks like a nest I'm just going to put it in the box and as you can see it's a perfect fit it's really going to make a precious gift for someone and you can add a wish and a little card with it if you like. So here they are done. I hope you liked it and do like and subscribe for more such videos. They really are adorable. <laughs> I really want to make more. So video felting is really addictive. Thank you for watching and see you next time.